Too many emotions in season three. Can't handle this in season <laughs> four. So what can I expect? Uh, it's gonna. We're just gonna turn it up to eleven, Aww. man. It's come on. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. It's so much fun. Uh, it's almost like seeing what we can get away with it. What people can can wrap their brain around. And I think you know, if we imagine the first three seasons, it, 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 introducing people to the ideal of a, a, a pervasive surveillance state that we were all living in. The only difference being, of course, that that machine was friendly to us and was protecting national security as well as handing out irrelevant numbers. The difference now is that another machine is in charge. And the question becomes whether or not that machine has any of our interests at heart. And how do our guys go on? How do you, how do you live in, uh, in an Orwellian surveillance state uh, where any form of communication or any opportunity to organize becomes possibly something self-destructive to team machine? Okay, you're killing me. Uh, my final question for you. What is your message for uh, fans such as myself who are ready to watch this new season? What can, what can you tell me? Well, if you haven't seen every episode, you need to start catching up because uh, it's a freight train now. And it, it, this season four is about war. It's about a war between two machines and its operatives. And we think that the most compelling idea right now that the world is confronted with, the biggest existential risk is artificial intelligence. Uh, do a little homework on it, folks. Check it out. See what Google's getting involved in. See what DARPA's doing. And see what all, all the various nation states are racing towards. Because it's the biggest thing since the Manhattan Project. And we think it's a place where our show needs to be living. And that's why you need to be watching.